rhizosphera needle cast of spruce, usually blue spruce, but sometimes white spruce, is caused by a needle cast pathogen called rhizosphera. And rhizosphera is another one of these needle cast fungi that will infect in the spring, ramify the needles through the summer. You won't really know what's there. The following spring, the fungus will move to the surface of the needle, produce its fruiting bodies, and pr then produce the spores. Those spores will leave the fruiting bodies on rainy days, get into the wind and to the rain, and it will infect the elongating uh, budding tissues. And that's the time for management if you're going to use chemical management. Uh, more importantly, uh, horticultural techniques are extremely important. Uh, keeping the needles from getting wet, obviously in spring that's very difficult to do, but if the planting plan uh, allows the wind to blow through, those needles will dry faster and you'll have less disease just through your horticultural care. Uh, management requires that you go out, uh, take a look at some of the branches on your trees, generally the lower branches because that's where the, those are the branches that stay wet the longest and uh, where you'll see symptoms of rhizosphera first. You'll have uh, the spores being released in the spring and that's when your chemical management will have to come on and uh, protect that uh, fresh budding elongating soft spruce tissue. Uh, if you miss that window of opportunity uh, basically you're going to have a year where your needles are in jeopardy of falling off but the following year again not that year it'll be the following year. So needle cast diseases are always a little bit more difficult to think about because the year you make your chemical spray you won't see the benefits of that until a year later. So think about that in terms of when you're harvesting, when you're taking those trees off, because uh, you'll need to back up usually about three years and start management of those needle cast diseases if, if, if chemical management is required, because it'll take at least three years for the benefit of the, of the chemicals to kick in. It's important if you have a choose and cut that you have trees of different ages. Some of those trees are going to get large, They're not, they haven't been chosen and cut, and they may uh, actually allow some of those uh, trees will be in what we call infection sticks or inoculation sticks. They will uh, allow the spores to spread from them to your, to your younger trees. So what could happen in some of those situations are even though you didn't see a disease in your first planting for six or seven years, it may come in in the fourth or fifth year in subsequent plantings because the larger trees in a choose and cut are, are acting uh, as the source of inoculum.